Hey, this is Brandon. It is Friday, April 23rd. Um, three trades to talk about today, um, but before I get into it, uh, please hit the like button. Uh, maybe leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, tell, uh, tell any of your struggling day trader friends uh, about my videos because uh, I really think it's a... Um, it's a good place. Uh, Trick Trades is a great place for um, anybody who's trying to make it as a day trader uh, to come and join us and learn the strategy, learn how to trade like this. Um, and uh, I, I really think it's the best thing out there for anybody trying to turn around their day trading and finally become consistently profitable. Um, I, uh, I, I've had a really, <clears throat> really good week. Um, it started out pretty, pretty slow and small. Just um, I think about a hundred bucks on Monday and a hundred bucks on Tuesday. Um, <laughs> Wednesday and Thursday, I got into a uh, I got into another argument with AMD. Um, AMD was supposed to go down, but uh, but uh, it kept going up on Wednesday. Um, so yeah, so I got into a fight with the 81 puts. Um, long story short, I, I, I worked my position in and out of the position um, uh, multiple trades on Wednesday and ended up with um, 20 contracts, 20 81 put contracts um, going into the close on Wednesday. <clears throat> then on Thursday, yesterday, um, Uh, yesterday we had this this move down, and I was able to um, to sell those puts um, for. I actually ended up losing on the trade, basically due to commissions. Um, I lost forty forty four dollars on the eighty one puts, um, and uh, nothing really. Uh, I mean, some other small trades on on Wednesday and yesterday. Um, uh, and I'll get into my big trade of the week uh, on SPY yesterday, but uh, I want to talk about this trade today on AMD. Um, there was a level from the pre-market plan of attack at um, uh, I think uh, like 80, 80, 60, like 80. Uh, it was on this very first candle that uh, it actually hit hit the level. So I, I think the level from this this morning's pre-market plan of attack was eighty dollars and sixty sixty one cents, something like that. But it it ramped right into that level and actually closed above that level on the very first one minute candle. So I managed to stay out of that trade um, and that obviously would have been a loser because that went well beyond our um, our standard risk. So Thankful that I didn't take that um, that short at, at at the level. Um, this was the high from yesterday, I believe, and uh, I ended up marking and taking a trade at this 82.80 level, which was roughly the 200-day uh, moving average on the daily chart. Just a simple 200-day moving average, which is, uh, as most of you probably know, that's a pretty important. Uh, moving average on the daily chart that a lot of traders and even longer term investors uh, watch that moving average. So I took a trade with the 83 puts. It's Friday, so I chose a strike price that, that was a little bit in the money um, just so I'd have uh, less less of the premium time decay um, on, on the on the put contracts there since it is Friday and these are expiring today. These are the 83 puts expiring today. Um, so let's take a look at the trade. Um, I just hit it three times, five, five, and five. Um, so pretty simple. I was looking to add probably another 10 um, if it if it had invaded standard risk a bit more. Uh, it did invade standard risk a little bit, but then dropped down pretty nicely. So I was able to to exit the position for some decent profit. Um, so yeah, bought the first five on that candle there as price was approaching that level. Um, bought five more 
on this candle here. Uh, so just getting a little bit closer. Um, and, and then I bought my final five contracts right there, right into the level, right as it was touching the level. Um, I, I grabbed that final five contracts and this this dropped down pretty nicely three strong candles so um, I got out of most of my position I had 15 contracts I got out three three and three uh, right here uh, 78 cents 80 cents and 85 cents all in that one minute candle there as it was coming back down into the 9 EMA um, AMD has been pretty strong uh, you know, so um, on Wednesday it was strong. Yesterday it was strong until we had the the Biden uh, capital gains tax announcement, um, uh, and and this morning certainly strong. So it just got very, uh, as Pat would say, I got very scalpy with this position. Um, so locked in profit on nine out of my fifteen contracts, leaving myself with six. Took two more off there. Um, as it dropped below the nine, uh, took two more off right there, uh, pretty much near the low of that candle. Um, so down to just two contracts at that point, uh, right? It's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. Yeah, just two contracts left. Um, I took one more off uh, as it touched the 20 EMA. And then I took the last contract off right here. Um, pretty much right on uh, top ticked that candle, at least not this one, but this one. Um, and that was, <clears throat> you know, it, it, it had dropped and closed below the 20 EMA, but then closed right back above it pretty quickly. So I, I felt like it was probably going to be making a bottom here. Uh, I, I, of course, I wanted it to make it all the way down to the VWAP. That would be my ultimate target. Um, but I felt like it wasn't actually going to make it uh, just too strong. So took the last contract off right there um, and did pretty well with it. I, I booked uh, $151 um, <clears throat> minus probably about 16 bucks for commissions. So what is that? 135 <clears throat> So done on that. Um, let me pause the recording. Okay, so the the big trade yesterday was on SPY, um, and this was a level I was watching the two four hundred sixteen dollars and seventy four cents, which was the exact high of day from uh, I believe Monday. Um, so I had that level uh, actually. Pat gave us that level uh, during yesterday's pre-market plan of attack. So I had that on my chart. Um, and so, you know, nothing much was happening. I was I was down, I was down $44 on the AMD trade. Um, I was up like 30 something dollars on a different trade, you know, so altogether for Wednesday and Thursday, as of this time, uh, you know, I was only, I was only down like 10 bucks or something so nothing much was going on um so i decided to grab this trade and it came came right up to the level uh very perfectly um so i decided to grab five uh contracts of the um 417 puts um i wanted something uh you know i wanted something a little bit in the money um this was pretty close to 417 so uh, so I went with the 417 puts and I just grabbed five. I just uh, just set the order manager to five contracts and basically just hit the market buy um, right as it came into <clears throat> right as it came into that uh, 41674 level right there. Um, and then obviously, <laughs> like literally six minutes later um <clears throat> you know biden announced his uh, his uh, preference or whatever it was uh, that uh, that capital gains tax rates should go up and the market didn't like that and so i, I actually wasn't even closely watching this trade uh, and suddenly i heard kelvo say whoa that's a big wash and so i looked and, I, and it was right on this candle 
Um, so <clears throat> I only had five contracts, so I, I took just one off at a time. Um, so I took one off for a dollar eighty. Took another one, another two off here um, on the very next candle, a uh, dollar ninety-seven and two forty-five. So uh, already locking in um, well over two hundred bucks. Uh, on that trade and still had two more contracts to go so uh, and then it just it got worse and um, I took another contract off right there pretty pretty much um, I think I top ticked that candle the t yeah yeah the high of that candle was 374 I got out at 374 got this bounce here um, and uh, I took the last contract down here this level, I marked this, uh, I actually asked Kelvo, like, hey, what do you think I should target for my last contract here? And he suggested that, he suggested suggested this level, which I think was a, a low of day or a close from, from earlier this week. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly what it was, but that turned out to be a pretty sweet target. Um, and I got, got out of the last contract right there. I had also actually... Um, traded one contract jello come on dude stop stop um, I had traded one contract of the uh, micro ES futures uh, just one contract that I also grabbed right in this neighborhood um, and I took that one off for uh, 4139 um, so I made about 160 bucks on that trade as well and this on the on the options trade I made eight 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 um thirteen after commissions um so obviously a huge trade that was freaking awesome um just got really lucky i mean it, it wasn't lucky in the sense that i was literally just trading the strategy i took the trade into the level and paid myself when it started to go my way uh i just got a an outsized move based on Biden's announcement so thanks Biden um, <laughs> so that was it for 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 the trade yesterday uh, so I've had a really good week I ended up thanks to these profits um, uh, booking uh, almost 1400 on the week so uh, so it's been a good week and I've, I'm calling it a day calling it a week I hope everybody has a great weekend um, thank you very much for watching the video and remember please hit the like button to help out the channel help help um, other struggling day traders to find my videos and ultimately to find trick trades because I think it's a great place to be the strategy is uh, is is really great very effective um, and very consistent and uh, yeah it's uh, totally possible to just come in every day trade the, the first 60 minutes of the market pull some profits and then just get on with your day <clears throat> So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope everybody has a great weekend. I'll see you next week.